What's up guys? I'm here doing some late night scouting on some trades. With our trade block, we have Frazier Cabrera there. I've been getting a few offers, but nothing really crazy. And looking at our positions, first base, third base, second, catcher, all a little bit weak. Center field, a little bit weird there because we have some good prospects, so I'm not too worried about that. But I found a good trade here. We're going to take advantage once again of having some free agents here with the relief pitchers. I think I may pick up this Rosenthal. And we're going to be trading another one. Let's get into it. Here we are. I'm going to be getting rid of Seawald. Looking throughout the trades, man, he was definitely a player that a lot of teams were looking at. I'm not really sure why. 27 years old. He has a cheap contract. Maybe that's why. 630k. He's on the last year of his deal. So, I don't know. He's pretty good, but I I'm okay with moving on from him with the free agents. I think we can make some moves. We're going to take advantage. And also, Travis Darno. He's been struggling, man hitting really cold I haven't been able to do well with him and we have some young prospects that are going to be moving up but this trade also we are going to be picking up some players so we're going to be getting rid of a young shortstop we have so many prospects that short we don't really need him and he's not that good I'm going to be picking up a young center fielder Tristan Lutz a little bit of pop looks like a decent arm decent speed as well hopefully he can develop and we're also going to be getting but that's not the big player in this one we're going for Eric Thames I can't believe they're gonna allow me to pick him up of course a worse fielder terrible fielding but the power is there boys he's a player that was playing in Korea and he's been smashing it so far this year if we look at the stats he's hitting 300 five home runs so a big upgrade at first base Adrian Gonzalez I'm gonna see what I can get for him and then we're also picking up a catcher Manny Pena he's not that good at fielding as well so we're definitely losing maybe a little bit of defense in the catcher and first base position but we have Poloacki who's decent and Wilmer Flores he can play some defense at first so I'm gonna make this trade guy picking up Eric Thames he's gonna be taking over first base <laughs> look at Eric Thames in the uh, oh Oh, it says Ryan Bronze on the DL. Wow, I got confused there for a second because the picture was there. But let's go ahead and take a look at our lineup now. Huge trade there for our roster, guys. So as we look at first base, let's go take a look. Tames there. He's going to be taking over first base. He's hitting 302 with five home runs. Hopefully it can continue. If you remember earlier in the year, was it last episode against the Brewers, right? Yeah, I ended up losing. Thames destroyed me in that game. So, they're giving him up to us. That's going to be definitely meeting Adrian Gonzalez. Probably going to be getting moved on from. And we'll see kind of what happens with the rest of our squad. I still have hope for uh, Wilmer Flores, David Wright, and then also... And then also your boy TJ Rivera. He can play first base also. He's been killing it in the minors. So we have some options, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and look at moving on from Adrian Gonzalez. Maybe pick up some young prospects. But man, I think that was a decent trade. Maybe let me know down in the so comments. So a big trade there for the squad, guys. We end up picking up Eric Thames, a really good first baseman. He's not the best defensively, but looking at our prospects, hopefully Gavin Sheets can continue to develop in the catcher position as well. We do want to find some other good young guys at catcher, but we're going into this game feeling good. In Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. We start off the highlights here. Cabrera with a single in the fourth inning. A little bit of a pitcher's duel to start the game, but we get the 1 0 lead with a little bit of a fumble there in center field. Marcakis singles to center field. He's been really performing for Atlanta. Their lineup is really tough to deal with. And here, Bruce, wow, walking home a run. I was so proud. Finally end up getting a walk. And Frazier, a little bit later, a bomb. 457 feet, grand slam, and we take the lead 6-1.
And at 6-1, we were feeling good. Our pitcher's attacking him. He gets a line out here to right field. What a catch from Michael Conforto. Diving in and making the play. Marquecas, though, again picking up an RBI. Just a simple little single. They're trying to keep it close. But they just couldn't get it done at the end of the game. Look how this one is going to end. Throwing out a runner at third base. That's what I'm talking about. Kevin Poecki, our backup catcher, still playing pretty well. We had to rest uh, our new signings. Thames and Pina in that game because they came from the Brewers a little bit tired off a new plane trip probably but we'll be giving them a good highlight in the next game. So looking at the schedule guys you saw me take that L against Atlanta but we end up winning the series a very good performance and 13 to 1 against them in one of the games there. I'm going to be jumping into the series against the Colorado Rockies. I wanted to get the first at bats with our new signing teams. We're going to be jumping in on a player lock game. Let's see how he performs. So looking at our lineup, Michael Conforto, Jay Bruce, Todd Frazier, Thames Pena, oh wow, DeGrom even a good batting average. Next and looking at the York, stats, Eric he's batting 300 to start the year as we pick him up, five home runs, let's see how he does. Here early in the game, we got two men on, and I draw and a walk for the first at bat. I was actually really proud, and that's going to bring up really our other signing, good. Manny Pena. He's got four home runs on the year, in, we're sitting on Pena first base, oh no, base is loaded, let's go, come on Pena. Let's try and get some runs. We're already up 2-0 in this game. I'll see what he can do. We take a little bit of a lead. All right, ground ball. Unfortunate. Oh man, that's gonna be. Uh, they end up getting us out there, but still 2-0. Eric Tame comes up a little bit later. Looks like we are down now in the game. That's not good. We gotta try to get something here. And whoa, a single to left field, fighting it off. Is that gonna score a run? Unfortunately not, but the base is loaded there, and I think we did get a few more runs, and that brings us up a little bit later in the game. So now, a walk in our first at bat, a single in our second at bat. Let's try to get something done. The game's still close here. We got four runs. Let's try to add to it. I'm going for the home run. Oh, man, I really did get a hold of that one. Is it going to go? It's to center field and caught, unfortunately. Couldn't get the lead there. We're still down 5-4, to four, but we're coming up here a little bit later in the game. One for two. Feeling good so far with Thames. I definitely like his swing. He's got a lot of power, but I have been hitting some singles with him, so I'll have to kind of switch up what I do with the power swings. But here... Oh man, a pitch outside. That's a good pitch though. Good laying off there on the first one. Let's see if he gives me something to hit. I'm looking down the middle low. He gives it to me and I swing right field. Oh, we're going for the double play. Please beat it out. And we do. He's safe eating out that play. I was actually really happy. And unfortunately, we couldn't do much with it. Later in the game, we're coming up here. Still going for that home run swing. A low slider. Couldn't get to it. Come on, Thames. I want to hit a long bomb with you in the debut. What's he going to give me? Oh, man. I end up striking out. Unfortunate there. That was our chance to really make an appearance there with Thames. But the Rockies are going to get the victory. DJ LeMayhew there with a big game for them. Unfortunate. And we're going to take the L. And looking at the statistics, Jay Bruce had a good game. We tried to fight. We had a lot of hits. We just couldn't perform with runners in scoring positions. So the Rockies are going to take that one. But Thames, a pretty good start. And Pena getting a hit as well in their debut. So that's good to see. We're going to go here looking through some simulations. Seth Lugo, he's going to be coming back from the DL. You remember he was injured. Matt Harvey took his spot. And we got a couple other small injuries there. We're going to be just auto setting our lineup. And a little bit later into the season, we're showing you guys the standings. Still, a little bit of a lead on the Nationals. That's always good to see. We went through a couple series there, so you saw us win the series against Atlanta. We end up losing the series there against the Rockies. We lost that first game, and then we won the second. End up losing the third. And look at this, boys. Losing two series in a row there. A little bit of a struggle, but hopefully we can make a comeback.
Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting off in the National League East, the Mets launched three home runs as they took down the visiting Blue Jays 6-2. to two. The Chicago Cubs knocked out 10 hits as a team as they nabbed an extra innings win over the Braves 3-2. to two. So our boys performed pretty well in that first game against Toronto. We're really trying to get on a hot streak once again. After taking a few L's in some series there, we want to try to finish off these teams. So we're jumping into this game. A short series here against the Blue Jays and also the Nationals. They're playing the Yankees right now. So a big rivalry here between some AL East and some NL East teams. Let's see how we can do in this one. The Blue Jays, not too good on the record, 19 and 23. And we're gonna start off here early with Jay Bruce. An absolute smash, he throws the high fastball. And Jay Bruce does not miss it. No mistakes on that one. And DeGrom was flying through this game, honestly. But we're going to end up giving up a solo shot here. Ah, oh, man. Two to one. But that brings up Jay Bruce a little bit later in the game for his second bomb against two lefty pitchers, if you notice in this match. Wow. He's destroying lefties, and that ends up bringing the starter out of the game. We get to the bullpen, and Todd Frazier is going to add another solo shot later in the game. We're up 5-1. to one. Now, remember that score, guys. We were up 5-1. DeGrom was absolutely flying through the game, and this is the biggest mistake I have made this year. DeGrom was through eight innings, throwing a one hitter or a one run complete game potentially, and we brought Vargas in. Big mistake. We end up getting a strikeout there against Donaldson, but just a little bit later in the game, guys, we are trying to make some pitches here. We end up with a big mistake. Oh, leaving one high. This Vargas guy not doing well. Why didn't I leave DeGrom in the game? I don't know. We end up giving up a single here, and this is where the inning starts. So a little bit later, we're looking rough. Bases loaded. We got a lefty facing Kendry Morales. What am I doing? Here comes the pitch left, and oh my word. He hits a long bomb. Kendry Morales in the ninth inning, and it's tied. Five to five. Once again, a huge mistake taking DeGrom out of the game, throwing a potential complete game, only one run given up, and we end up blowing it there with our pitcher. We bring in some relief, and we do end up getting barely out of the inning. But just a little bit later, another home run in extra innings, and our relief pitchers are blowing this game. We're trying to get it back here. In the bottom of the 10th, Conforto does get a single, so we got two men on. A very, very high pressure situation here. So two men on. We blew the lead with our bullpen. That's gonna bring up Todd Frazier. He does have a home run earlier in this game. Let's see what we can do here. We're looking high, two men on base. Oh man, that was an away pitch. I didn't have the aimer on there. Probably wasn't gonna get it. Let's see what we can do here. I'm looking inside. He gives it to me. Oh no, a ground ball and that is game. We had two men on the potential to win that one, but a huge mistake once again. Taking out DeGrom, bringing in a relief pitcher and Kendrew Morales ties the game there in the ninth inning with a grand slam and they end up winning it in extra innings. Wow, what a huge mistake guys from me. I never want to do that again. Give DeGrom the start. The managing, really not good from your boy. We played well in that game, and I end up blowing it with our pitching staff. That's all it is, man. We end up walking some batters, giving up some singles, and then one long bomb. Unfortunate. So as we look at the box score, we did play pretty well, man. A good hitting performance for us. We just couldn't get it done with our pitching. Really, really disappointed. Maybe Ramos will send him down to AAA. I don't know. A lot of pitchers in AAA have been doing well, so we have some competition. DeGrom, though, look at that start for him. Absolutely amazing, and I blow it with the bullpen. Unfortunate. Kendrick Morales getting player of the game. Oh, man, I was sad about that one. Good Thursday morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right into Wednesday's baseball action. Starting off in the National League East, the Toronto Blue Jays hit three long balls as they grab the extra innings win over the Mets, 6-5. to five. 
Dansby Swanson had three hits on the day, leading the Braves past the Cubs 4-1. to one. He extended his hitting streak to a modest six straight games. The Miami Marlins racked up 11 hits as a team as they got the best of the Dodgers at home 3-1. to one. So an unfortunate loss there. Poor management from me. We're going to go ahead and advance day, guys. Kendry Morales absolutely killing us. I'm going to end this episode off with some highlights. Enjoy the highlights from this game, and we'll continue on a live cam episode on the next one. Thank you for joining. I'll see you guys soon.